Hey there everybody, it's me, Hology, and today Microsoft has just released Windows 10 Build 14951 for PC and mobile on the fast ring. Starting off with PC, this build sees continued effort on the refinement of the precision trackpad support that we saw a glimpse of in the last build. Adding on to what we saw last time, you can now set a three-finger tap to activate a command of your choice by selecting that option from the three-finger tap list and keying your command into the box. Once you've stopped the recording, a three-finger tap on your trackpad will run whatever command you entered in the box. In this example, the run command. Windows Inc. now has improved pen customization mechanics. It's now easier to edit the size and color of your pen while you're using it. Also, a new stencil tool can be found, which allows you to make perfect circles using Windows Inc. Apparently, this build was also supposed to be bundled with the new camera update, which I already posted a video about that you can see here. This update basically changes the whole UI of the camera and adds a time-lapse feature. One thing I did forget to mention, though, is that living images are now capturable on the Surface 3, Pro 3, Book, and Pro 4 devices. Alongside these on-the-surface UI changes and under-the-hood tweaks, the Windows subsystem for Linux has also received two major updates today, including official Ubuntu 16.04 support and Windows or Windows subsystem for Linux interoperability, meaning binaries can now be directly launched from a WSL command prompt, a widely demanded function across developers on the WSL user voice page. Quote, in a broad sense, the ability to mix and match NT and Linux binaries from within the same shell. For more information on this, follow the link posted here or in the description. PC and mobile have also received a wide variety of under-the-hood improvements and other fixes. The issue that some users have reported on build 14946 where the device gets stuck on the Windows boot screen for a long period of time has been noted with a couple of bugs. It has been advised by the Windows team that you not reset your device when this happens and just to let the device boot in. A link to the official blog post for this can be found in the description. If there's anything that I forgot to mention, feel free to let us know about it below. And if you'd like to keep up to date about the future user experience of Windows 10 and Windows 10 Mobile, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more.